Yo, what's good, people? I'm Five Star Firms, and you're watching Paper Chases Inc. <laughs> what's good? I'm here with Tattoo Carlo. What's good, homie? I'm all nice and that, I'm all nice. So, uh, firstly, thank you for coming down and that. You know, appreciate it. Coming a long way down. You know what I mean? All the way from the Brom side. <laughs> you know, I just come here to chat to show my. I hear that, I hear that. I feel something from the first issue, so, you know. Number one main feature on this. So, I've got a few questions for you anyway. Um, firstly, do you remember your first tattoo? Tell me what that was like and what one it was. First tattoo was. This one here, that it was just my name with the rosemary beads. This, that's, that's, that was my literally my first. But it was only there though. It didn't go around my arm. It was just, it was just here. And that was my first. That was my first one. Yeah. So we say that was that was the start of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it was? It was. I started. I got that one, and then I got one here, and then like I waited for a bit, and then I got I got this one across my chest. I got two cherubs there, and then I left it at that. That was like when I was 18. And then in 2010, I sleeved this arm, and then from, from that was when the moment when I just was like, all right, then I'm just going to get covered. Yeah, fuck it. Why not, innit? it? <laughs> so I'm saying you got a few now, though. Like, how many reckon you got now? Is there a number, or is it just like a blend now of, of tattoos? I've just got one. One, one big one. Because from, from, they all join us, it's, it's just a one big tattoo. All right, all right. I've done 137 hours last time. Whoa! That's a lot of pain. <laughs> so, like, I, this is a pet hate of mine. Like, I'm getting covered now, yeah. I've got a few tattoos myself. But I always find when I see a piece of skin, I get a little bit like, oh, I need to cover that. What are you saying? You feel the same? I'm the, I'm the same. It's, it's like this here, you can see. You know, it's 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 empty there. So really, yeah, it's I looking kind of natural. When I see, you know, when I, when I see that, it's kind of like ah, uh, but I know that it's gonna get done. So you know, it's yeah, I feel that. Can't rush art, so yeah, man, you got a lot of artwork on you. You know what I mean? So like, what was your most recent one? Most recent was my palms inside my hands, but. That, that one, these, this, it fades off the, the palm, it fades off because as you can see there, as you can see, you know, it's faded off a little bit there, but that, it needs to get done about four or five times before it sits in enough for it not to kind of fall out. Eventually it'll fall out in years, but. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that. So, out of all your tattoos now, what do you think is the most meaningful for you, the most, the most powerful, the one that moves you? You know what I mean? The one you look at daily and say, yeah, that I needed that one to be on there, you know? The most, do you know what? The most powerful one, it, it's my whole, my whole arm is something, actually, I wouldn't even, say, wouldn't even say powerful, meaningful, this arm here, because this whole arm is from my nan, this whole, this whole from here to here, it's all from my nan, like, that's, that's how this one started, and, but, but powerful, it's got to be the face, because, there's not a meaning behind that one. It's probably the one title I can say there ain't a the meaning behind, but the face, it, it's there. It, 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 it separates me from, you know, it's a big step to, to take to, to get my face tattooed. Like, it's a big step to take. So it's, it's what everyone sees. So for me, that's the most powerful because it changes, it changes your appearance, basically. Okay, yeah, straight on. The face is where people look. Can't hide that. You know what I mean? What, that's the end of office jobs for you? <laughs> That's 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 why that's I don't I don't want this is to keep me out of them jobs. I wanna I wanna be able to just do just just like obviously I do my modeling and do my music. My music's like my my main thing I wanna do modeling's like kinda of spun off from it. Okay. But these this here like when I when I got this these on my side of my face and in my ears, like the reason I got that is I was working in a, I was working in a place and there was like there was like you're not allowed no tattoos, you're not allowed no tattoos on the show. Yep. You know, so I had to have, I had to always wear a jumper in there, like a long, a long sleeve. And then it got too much, I just left there. And then I just thought, you know what, I got that straight away. And that, that for me, this one, that was to me say you, not to go back to that life where, you, where you're going to be, be judged. Because I think that however you choose to live, however you choose to make yourself look. Yeah, fully, fully. Work, you, you can still do the job, it don't stop you from doing the job. So, yeah, that's it.
It is what it is, people. You know what I mean? So, this is what I want to know anyway. Who is your tattoo artist? Because you got to give him props. I, I know. I've done my research on you now. And it's like, I heard all your tattoos have been done by the same guy. And he looks like he's going in. Like, where can I find him? I, I need to bump into this geezer. I need to give him an interview. <laughs> my, my, tattoo, my tattoo artist, is, his name's Ian Stanfield. He works at Mother of All Sins Tattoos in Sutton Coldfield, Birmingham. So, you know, anyone watching that or any, live anywhere close or even far, come check him out. But basically, Ian, Ian's done all this. Like, from, from, from neck down, he's done all that. But there's a, there was someone else who he trained up. Her name's Vicky Norton. She did my throat, face, ears, side of my face. She did all that. But the only reason I went to her is because I seen her grow and I see it's the same style as him. It's like pretty much the same style. So that's why we've the reason I stuck with one artist because they say like me and you can draw and someone asked us to draw something over there. We'd both draw that camera, but yours would be your style, mine would be my style. So that's why I stuck with one artist, it, it flows, but I didn't mind changing with my, with my throat up because she's got the same kind of style as him. So during a during a jump or a big change and you know. Yeah, that makes that makes total sense. You know what I mean? We're gonna get a whole masterpiece done, a whole mural. It makes sense. You get it done by the master, and you know what I mean the predecessor. Get them. It's the same style. You know. <laughs> so I want to know, like, cause you gotta play a lot of tattoos in places that you know I might not get because. I might need an office job, you know what I mean? Like your tattoos, on no, no homo, but they look a lot more of definition than mine. You understand what I mean? So you can get away with doing the modeling and all of that. I hear you're winning prizes and all kinds of crazy shit. You know what I mean? But is there a place that you wouldn't get tattooed? Is is there anywhere that you wouldn't get tattooed? True, I've always said this truth. There's there's not nowhere I wouldn't get tattooed, but the area where I wouldn't, where I, where some people wouldn't. If I was doing it, I'd do it myself. That's that's. I wouldn't let no one else, you know. I wouldn't let no one else. I would do it myself. Like I wouldn't really wanna. I'm not really one to get certain areas out in front in front of other guys or, you know. It's All right, I'm gonna be real specific in it. Cause I'm not gonna lie. I was like the producer said to me, "Here's your questions and that." And I got I got specific questions. The question I asked you was more broad than than the actual real question. Question really was. Would you get your balls tattooed? I would. I'll do it myself though, I'll do it myself. But it's not it's not one of them things. It's not one of them things where Exclusive <laughs> It's not one of them things like I'm oh, it's like oh I need to get that done and it, it, it I'm my end finished product in my head of what I look like, my finished end result is me covered. Now I don't I don't get tattoos for, for anyone else like I don't get, I don't tattoo for anyone, I tattoo for myself, like, I'll be walking, I wear jacket more than I wear t-shirt, people say to me, like, ah, oh, how come you ain't got your tattoos out, like, if I had them tattoos, I'd have them out, but I'm not, I, I feel the cold just yeah, the same yeah. as they do, you know what I mean, like, you don't mean tattoos ain't done with wool, like, it, 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 I, 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 they don't make me warm, so, I don't, I'm just getting for myself, that's, that's, you know, but the, that area, Myself, I wouldn't want to have like ink, 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 patch, ink, 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 ink. So, but well, it's not a priority. I feel you total coverage. I mean, it's the tattoo, the tattoo's dream, you know what I mean? Total coverage and all of that. I feel it. I would get covered if I knew that I could get a job as well. You know, it's, it's crazy like that. <laughs> so, as well as this now, um, what age did you start at? Started at 18. Started at 18 and then... Like I said, I, I went for it, got a little bit and I stopped. And it weren't until 2010, I'm 25 now. So, age of 23 is when I went and got the, the majority. The majority of what I've got is has been done in the last two years. Yeah. But I started technically when I was 18, the first 